Despite six months of Soviet blockade, the weary people of Western Berlin did their best this week to celebrate the holidays the traditional way. Communist sanctions had left the city undaunted. Berlin was still Berlin. And Christmas was still Christmas. Into the British Information Center came hundreds of lucky children for a special Christmas party arranged by Berlin's British community. This scene was repeated all over the Western sectors as the Western allies and the Berliners themselves strove to inject some holiday cheer into the drab blockade life of the city's youngsters. Over the air bridge to Tempelhof came a special Christmas plane. Inside, a flying Santa Claus with a plane load of presents for Berlin's children with the best wishes of the U.S. Army and Air Force. But another airlift plane had a less happy arrival. This C-82 flying boxcar loaded with textiles suffered minor damage when a tire burst during a landing. Here, German airfield personnel, outfitted in their new Air Force cold weather gear, helped tow the airlift giant to the repair shop. Then it's the pilot's turn to be on the receiving end of some gifts. Oberbürgermeister Reuter presents an American and a British flyer with the first of 750 cigarette lighters which Berlin's famous Schoensteinfeger Club gave to the men of the airlift. And with each lighter go Berlin's wishes for good luck over the air bridge. Out in Spandau, meanwhile, another ceremony. Berlin's British Commandant, General Herbert, Professor Reuter and Burgermeister Frau Schroeder open a new bridge over the Hoffel River. Called the Freibrücke, it will greatly ease the flow of traffic back and forth to Gatau Airfield. With General Herbert at the controls, a tram makes the first trip across Berlin's newest bridge. Meanwhile, another step is taken to increase airlift safety and efficiency. After a one-month warning, the French blow up the antenna towers of Russian-controlled Radio Berlin. These structures, one of them over 350 feet tall, had proved a serious hazard to Tegel air traffic. This film clearly shows how close the high towers stood to the busy landing strips. But the spirit of Berlin this week was still the Christmas spirit, especially for the children. And thousands of them from all four sectors jammed to Tanya Palace for an old-fashioned Christmas sing sponsored by Rias. Mittag in Amerika und da habe ich den Texas Harry getroffen. Habe gesagt, Texas Harry, du musst heute noch nach Berlin kommen in den Titania Palast und den Kindern deine Kunststücke vorführen. Thus Berlin's children, after six months of blockade, sang out the old year and sang in the new. Here and everywhere there was hope that 1949 would finally bring peace and security to the people of Berlin. <laughs> 